free. A word thrown around so easily, but what does it really mean? It's defined in the dictionary as being able to act or do as one wishes, but it was redefined by the one between hell and heaven, and at the last moment, switches. His story, incredible, but at the same time so possible for us all, when we are trapped between good and evil, and for whatever reason, we stall, pause, reflect. Sometimes we are so lost in our ways that our true purpose we neglect, that we almost forget, that we select, we choose, we write the rules on our next steps, we decide our fates, and so is the case of this sinful man who met Hussein. He was the one who stopped the caravan in their tracks because of his obedience to the orders of Ibn Ziyad. And how many of us today, false rulers, employers, and politicians, we obey even if our principles and ethics are discarded away. But this man is a reminder for every heart that between right and wrong has swayed. He was the reason why they were cut off from the waterway. He was the reason the children were crying and their screams became a wave. And for Hussein, he like them began to crave. His conscience inside began desiring the truth. So much so until he too felt thirst. To be with Hussein like an oceaning storm inside that would burst like a flood in the drought of Karbala's dry earth. To give life back to this dry sand, his tears reviving his heart the way water revives dead land. So remember that if he made mistakes and came back alive, you too can. As you imagine him, imagine yourself in his shoes you stand. When they told him, his fellow soldiers under Yazid's command, O son of Riyahi, O son of Riyahi, from Kufa, you may be the bravest man, but we have never seen you look so troubled, so uneasy, so unsettled. It seems your mind by your thoughts compelled. With teary eyes, he said, I see myself in this moment between heaven and hell. For nothing in this world is worth this, my soul I cannot sell. And as he switches armies bolting across Karbala's plains, as he begins to embody his name, see yourself. As he chooses justice and abandons wealth, as he chooses pleasing God over pleasing people, as he chooses the path of truth over the path of evil. And as you hear his story, when he charges and is martyred, as he abandoned life with falsehood for death in truth, let the hypocrisy die inside of you. When you hear the name Hur, remember you, remember me, remember the one who redefined the word free, free, free. Remember Hur ibn Yazid, Riyah, Riyah.